What is up, everybody? It's ADB ninety five, and I'm got Castor in the commentary booth with me. Yo. Wow, that was a very hip hop introduction for you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm doing my best KB expression. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, but welcome to uh, Zarin versus Warco, the last game for Group D, which will decide who will take first place in this group. Uh, it is the last game because there was supposed to be also uh, Aswine versus Mr. T and Aswine versus um, Bilo, but Aswine decided to not play uh, both of his last matches, uh, which means that we just gave them to the other two as a forfeit win. Not ideal because we do want to have all matches played, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And now that means that Zarin and Warco are only left with uh, their fight for first place because they are both qualified. And uh, Zarin is slightly an advantage because of map difference, so in case of a draw, he will take first place. But without further ado, I'm gonna play the video and we're gonna see uh, what they do. I kinda forgot. Uh, the maps. I'm just gonna double check them real quick. There it is. Oh, what's that? Uh, Grassy Outpost, Outpost, Death Patch, and Daybreak. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. We see Grassy Outpost. Zarin is going for Double Para, Gunner, Sapper, and Scout. And we have Warco going with Grenadier Single. I think that's the first time in this Grunt League we've seen a single Grenadier. Um, do you hear the game audio? Because I think we don't hear it right now. I don't hear it as well. Uh, the question is, do we need to hear, do they talk over the audio or does nobody talk? No, they don't talk at all. So, hear that we don't hear it though. Okay, I, I got confirmation from uh, OBS that it is playing, so at least it's, very, it's going to be recorded. We okay. just won't hear it. Okay, so see Zarin going first. We will probably take the other um, health crit as well. By the looks of it. Yeah, he just went straight for the first health crate. He just spawned right on it. Oops, I accidentally forgot the scoreboard here. So now, oh wait, no, it, Warco is not two two points ahead. We just need to. It was just how I said it. Okay, now it's back to normal. We can finally see the match. <laughs> with no okay. inter other interruptions. And, uh, well, he is... Mm, he did not collect the second health plate. But, um, is there for going? Yeah. Inside or of the, the pillbox. Um, or the, the zapper, yeah. Uh, but if the pillbox is destroyed, he will take 20 damage. But he nullified it with taking one health crate, so, yeah. Yeah, the other prop, the other thing I'm, I've noticed is that you didn't take any of the weapon crates, and weapon crates oh. uh, are so, so there are some important ones in the corners of the map. Actually, there's two TNTs and two mines, one per corner. That's the TNT. Marco un unfortunately but, forgot to take the mine, which was right behind him at the start of the start. Yeah, the mine is like uh, for a grenadier. The mine is much more valuable. Uh, and a TNT, arguably. Yeah, you can potentially one-shot a pig with 120 HP. Or even more if you're somehow precise with a cluster. We see that Warco has this particular way of throwing uh, clusters in a overshotty way. And also kind of intentional body block, which is great until that sapper gets a turn. Yeah, but still a good turn. Oh, uh, nearly a huge mistake. By a seven. Yeah. Uh, Have we ever had someone actually pressing, on the accidentally back? pressing X after selecting uh, the, the skip turn by ex by accident? Uh, I think there was like a, a damage me. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we, we can't we can't hear the game right now, so we can't we tell. <laughs> Take the health crate. I wonder why he's not collecting the crates here. I, th I think it's because they're just worthless crates, really. I don't remember what yeah. that inside is, but it's not very... Uh, but I mean, if deal. you stand next to it, you can just pick it up as well, in my opinion. Nice 40 on the scout. So you should be down to like uh, 30 80. or so. Oh, wait, yeah, because he, he took the... 
the 20, the, the, the yep. 40 from the, the thing, and it wasn't it's not the same scout that took the jetpack, so yeah, my bad. Oh, it wasn't the same? It is, okay, yeah, it is, it is. Uh, it's all four uh, I thought it was the same, but I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not, uh, sure on that as well. So that means that he took the 40 from the pillbox, the 20 from the jetpack, and the, and the 40 from the bazooka. He should be pretty low. Oh, yeah. If it was the same, so... But no, he, he couldn't be that, that that low, otherwise we would have seen an animation. You can see he's he's more more than on 10. Well, 40, 20, 40 is uh, 100, so he would be on there, 40. I keep on 30, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't cal calculate today, so... Oh, no! <laughs> Ooh! That, that was unfortunate. Slipped. And nobody taking the mines yet. Yeah. I saw that Mar Warco was going for a TNT there. Okay, it's a roller grenade. I understand not not collecting it then. I mean, he could probably take out the scout. With a good uh, mortar here. What mortar? He's uh, definitely you going he... for them. Yeah, do you think he, he learned that shot? Because it, it seems pretty... Um... No, I don't think so. No, it did. Okay, but maybe, it's maybe, it did. maybe it did. Maybe it did. Okay, the scout is one hundred percent down. Yeah. Yeah. A nice turn by by Saren there. Yep. Saren seems seems to be in the lead. It was, Warco spent forty five seconds in the previous turn just collecting the TNT and wasn't able to reach uh, the paratrooper as a target, despite having a jetpack to do it. He decided to decided to keep them, but that costed him the turn. Um, question for you then. Seven should have the Sapper next, and there's still Walker's uh, Grenadier alive, which is arguably his, uh, his best pick. I'll pick here. Um, would you rather uh, uh, deal some damage with a TNT or a shrapnel, or go into the pillbox, occupy both pillboxes, and shoot him from in there? I think acknowledging the fact that you probably can't kill that Grenadier in, in, until he makes a move again, I would definitely take the pillbox. And this is a hard bazooka shot. Seems to be good, though. 26. Well, too bad about... Um, we were him, I would have just uh, taken the roller grenade on the paratrooper, so... We can see that uh, 80 was the damage dealt by the cluster from Warco. Because the center is now on 70. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm again taking the right move in, in our opinion at this point. Yeah, he really has um, I think a tactical advantage as well. He he's in both pillboxes, so um, Barker will not be able to deal a huge amount of damage to those pigs. And yeah, also in front. I would say the best course of action for dealing with situations like this is just let the pillboxes run out of health, uh, run out of ammo. Because they're gonna eventually come out, and that means that the, you know, extra armor advantage is technically yeah. none. That was a very nice jetpack there. He could yeah, I make think he him... can easily take him out with the bazooka now. The menu wasn't letting us see the health, but we see now there's a 26. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's if he... he... He has to take him out. Oh, okay, I thought he I was changing his his, uh, tr his objective because of uh, potential poison on him, but yeah, but he lost his scout already, so um, he hasn't that doesn't have a chance yeah. of poison. Either. Also, I just noticed it's weird that on this map we have no medic. That is true. Yeah, maybe oh. they think the the other maps will be more advantageous to keep I the guess medic. So. And this will be, he will be on 64 then, which of 54, and 54 is really a good number to play around with. Yeah, this is a very tough position to be in for uh, uh, Warco's Grenadier, because his health is low, but not low enough that, you know, uh, a self-kill yeah, is, 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 yeah. is a good position, is, is a good idea. And this is definitely a mistake, in my opinion, because you're taking out... A pillbox with the yeah. Grenadier's turn. Yeah, the Grenadier could do much more uh, valuable things. Like, even a class on the scout would have been uh, better, in my opinion. And he taken, took some damage, and that means he's on 49. So it should be easy for the scout, uh, for example, or the other pack to, um, to get him into skip range. 
Yeah, I mean, it was easier before. I think it doesn't make that much of a difference. But uh, Zarin so far is doing better, uh, in my opinion. Just from a tactical standpoint. Yeah. I mean, Zarin also started, um, which is a small advantage, but uh, I still think he's, he's playing it very well so far. Yeah, like, good time management here. Look at this turn, just for example. He took a, a jetpack, he collected the mine, went back in and dealt, dealt 40. So 60 damage plus a very good weapon for an act for when he has to go out. Yeah. Essentially an extra jetpack for a paratrooper. Well, Marco kinda has to deal big damage to get back into this. Um... I don't think you can cross that. Uh, the the annoying part, can. Of, it, like in a very specific way, maybe, but I don't think that's. I'm sure Nicholas knows the skip, but I don't. So yeah, of course Nicholas knows the skip. Uh, for me, that's the most interesting part about this map, though. That the the biggest difference with grassy knolls is that you can only climb from the sides. Yeah. I think for me, um, now that we have that map, I would. Uh... Like, let go of Grass Knolls at all? You think so? I think I would keep it just because it has the uh, medicine balls that are on so few maps nowadays. I mean, you can e easily add them to here as well, so... Yeah, but it, it's but... good that they're different. You know? The, yeah, the... but I don't... I... Oh, but, like, we're gonna get on that, but there, there are, there are oh. mo other maps where I, I think there's just no reason to, to keep them. Uh, because they're either boring or don't work. Um, and there's some, I, I some wouldn't say Grasnos is boring, but I would just see, say this is better and uh, keeping those two similar no, is not worth it for me. But uh, let's go, go back on the game today and we saw a very nice mortar by uh, Seren. Really putting, um, putting a lot Mark of pressure on the back on foot here. Yeah. Uh, he's shown that he has taken some practice from uh, that angle. That, uh advantage position definitely yeah. and so far his uh, paratrooper in the pillbox and his uh, gunner haven't really been touched so far and uh, yeah he's got another supper as well in the other pillbox which is pretty good that's another that's the other mine he destroyed it the sap oh yeah yeah, yeah sorry sorry 50, so he but it's not really he will not really be able to take him out here with the the paratrooper, unfortunately. It was technically possible with uh, uh, maybe even a grenade and a mine, but not like this. Yeah, but not like this, no. Okay, that's still a decent damage, I would say, because that's... Uh, is that a yeah. one-shot? Or is Koshon next? Yes. The, the problem here... For seven is I think the grenadier is next, and is he has he? no will. It shouldn't he be? Because Warko lost one pig, but also Zarin lost one. I think so. I think oh. they're even. So, ah, oh, will he go go far? Far enough. Far yeah, enough. I think just not. Well, you can't or hear. The, or is the paratrooper not be next here? Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry. So it was 4v4, and that means it's, it's uh, even easier for Zarin, because he got a scout next, oh, scout and 49 next. Yeah, okay. is perfect. So yeah, I really see a big advantage for Zarin so far. Oh, definitely. Um, if he can get uh, the Grenadiers to skip next turn, it will be... Uh... Nearly game over, I think. Even. I think so, yeah. A good move here with the uh, jetpack taking out the sapper. Will yeah. he have enough time to do anything? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, but what do you go for? There's not many targets. Um. Well. Did, did he actually skip? No, no I, I think I don't, he, I don't he wanted to, to, to uh, use the, the bazooka, but uh, missed... Uh, I know, no, I was just questioning what, like, did he actually say fucking and, 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 and press yeah. X again? But I don't I mean, think so. Wise, we have an advantage for, for, uh, for, for Warco, Warco, yeah, but, but 
it's about to be 3v3 now. Yeah. And I think both of Varko's paratroopers are out of uh, jetpacks, so they're not very valuable. Meanwhile, uh, Zarin has a gunner that's doing absolutely fantastic from up there. A paratrooper oh. inside this pillbox, which still has two jetpacks and a mine. And, then a, and a scout with an E4 health, so I think... Mine, I think... Anyway, it, the point is, yeah. I think it's pretty close to being over, although one of the paratroopers is still on a very fair amount of health, and yeah. uh, Zarin didn't go collect the things left from the Grenadier, so that's a mistake. But I would not go for the pillbox now, because the pillbox I would is go for the gunner. Of, um... Yeah, the pillbox is out of, uh, how do you say? The, out of, out of the sight. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, it had a bullet. Out of sight. Yeah, out of bullets, and I would just use the TNT and get some extra fall damage here on the, on the gunner. On the gunner, honest. yeah, but uh, I think the idea came in too late for Warco. Uh, oh, and the scout is still remaining as well. I forgot about him mm -hmm. a second. Yeah, this guy. So only two paratroopers left for Warco. We're probably close to being uh, to being one null for Zarin. But I think uh, yeah, the the gunner is also full health, so. Uh. And he can take out this uh, paratrooper now. Any shirt with uh, probably um, I would just for a wall grenade. Sorry, I was doing stuff. It's fine, yeah. And perfect wall grenade, not risking anything. And it's a free v one now, and it's looking dire for for Rocco. Yep. So. Zarin will be going up by one, and that means that uh, of the two remaining maps, you only need to draw one to take first place. Yep. And body blocking is in general a, a nice idea, but uh, yeah, I want to say he, ne he needs to kill the scout because uh, if the scout is next. Uh, he, this guy is the best to pick to get to go, to go against the body block. I think he's on he's very, dead. very, very low health. Oh. He's like on one. Oh. Whoa. Oh, really one. Oh. I did remember him being on 34, mm. so that was unfortunate. Would you poison here? Or just do, do the deal the damage? I think deal damage would be enough. Again, the gunner is on 140, the paratrooper is on 150. Inside the pillbox, so. Yeah. I mean, going for this kind of gives a, a this kind of gives a chance to Warco though, because he can somehow play around with this with the gunner's health mm. in a couple turns. I don't know. It's the, uh, possible. Yeah, it's in theory, but um, realistically, uh, I don't think. Uh, you could get a, an extra out. extra damage with the death of the scout, maybe? Here? With a very good bazooka? I think he's going for it. But this is a hard shot. Especially since uh, the scout is like on top of the small mountain, so... If he can make the kind of stay there, it's pretty unrealistic. I think with the correct bazooka, he would have been pushed a bit as well, but... Goes for the grenade, goes gets a 40. And... Do you leave yeah. or do you just stay inside here? Why would you uh, would you stay? He's out of ammo, and also he needs to use air all of his weapons on this guy. Now, my thing here would have been um, stay inside here. Let uh, the paratrooper take a turn, maybe uh, damage the gunner, and then suicide myself with the gunner. Nah. You have it. You have enough time to do damage. Go there and you deal damage. You have a hundred and fifty paratrooper. Why? Yeah. What? What's? What are you scared of? That's a full forty. 
And that yeah. basically cements it. I mean, you can play around with the body blocks for a bit, but... Um... Just, which is one turn. But yeah, I he mean... knows that uh, it's basically over. Yeah. Wrong body block. Okay, cool. And even That's if correct. it's the right one, uh, you can just make a suicide mortar if you're silent. Yep. Had another just... turn, he could have. You could have made him skip, but he won't have another one. Yeah, but the suicide mortar is, in my opinion, the the the, the best way to deal with this now. Yeah, you can't stay. You can go up from there, I think. Oh, he's he's gonna. He's really going to go the other way around. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, on the left, it should have been a bit shorter the way, I guess. Yeah. But he's gonna make it anyway, so this is going yeah, to make it 1-0 for Zarin. Do you think he's going for the suicide mortar, though? I mean, even if he's not, it should be over. Yeah. I think he's going for a regular mortar, if I'm honest. Or um, okay. maybe even a pistol. Yeah, it should be, should be fine as well. Yeah, all he needs to do is to fire a bazooka down on Percy's feet next turn and it will be over. I mean, it doesn't matter for, for Walker here. He can body block, but uh, I guess seven... Uh, yeah. Yeah, unless okay, Zarina yeah. accidentally skips his turn three times, it's basically over. And Can you imagine if he hit the blade beer? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he does get the kill. And Zarin has left it one paratrooper, but he's a one beefy paratrooper, which makes him win the match and go up 1-0. What was the second map again? I forgot. Then here, we'll see in a second. Yep. Alright, we are back. You can see they are setting up their lineups. Um, Zarin is going uh, Medic, Double Sapper, Paratrooper and Scout. Meanwhile, we'll see Warco. And the map, by the way, is Death Patch. So the new version of oh, Pedra, nice. we finally see it. Uh, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Yeah, we have Warco, which we'll have to go first. With the Medic, a Paratrooper, and Scout, Sapper, Gunner. Shall we start? Let's see. Okay, cool. Yeah, the um, is about to start. I tried uh, um, this map with Warco. Uh, I have to say, it is a bit different than the usual... Um, what's it called? P-Drag. But it's not worse. In my opinion. It's just there's, uh, there's more tanks. There is one big problem with it. That I actually discovered while playing at Warco. And I don't know if anyone else did. Um, but I'm not going to say it for the sake of, you know, next uh. matches on this map. I'm pretty sure someone else knows because it's, you know, it's not that, that big of a, of a secret, but, uh. you know, it's just that it, pin should definitely change that when, when we get to, when we get to. It's chance to going the for the moment, it looks like. Of course. And go for something else when you are first a medic in first and the other medic is also first. I mean I could have had the chance to go into the tank and deal half the damage with an airburst. Well, but you could you can probably either do that someone else or I guess, I guess that is a viable option, yeah. But then you leave the medic, the enemy medic to tranquilize basically anybody else without any chance to heal. Well. That's true. 
We see Warko starting with his paratrooper again. After the trank. And uh, probably gonna go for one of the tanks on the blue side. Looks like it. So there is four tanks now in the new version. And uh, that means a faster match, technically, because that means four airbursts, which basically works like work out like a cluster. I see, but uh, for, for me, they're much harder to use in a cluster. They are. They are very... Like, the range of this thing is extremely weird. I don't know how to explain yeah. it other than that. This was oh, almost perfect. Almost perfect shot. He probably should have detonated the first... Oh. Uh, explosion a little bit earlier, and the sapper would have stayed yeah. right under the big, the little shells. Yeah, because it's hard to use it since uh, the shells are so close uh, together, so it's hard to. Get not a even that. Not arms. even that. It's just for me the length the bazooka, well, the length the shot covers is weird considering what we are used to uh, with the regular bazookas, but like with the right. power bar. And then there's also inclination because you see, you know, you just sometimes you see the tank turn in weird ways if he's on a slope. But regardless, it was a 65 damage on Bastille here, which is going to retaliate by very good, very good, you know, very good way in my opinion, just uh, putting a TNT Ooh. and placing himself inside the tank. But there was a small issue there. Um, yeah, the tank took damage. To... Yeah. And he wasn't able. Uh, he 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 yeah, took the, the not the wrong way, but the slow way to enter uh, a tank by just pressing triangle. Uh, it's faster to to, uh, to yeah go in every building by jumping and then pressing triangle. Then you skip the like skip a lot of the animation. So that tank is now on fifty something, which does bear, does bear the question: How do you pro How do you do? How do you kill it? As it is juicy to have an, an opportunity to, to to kill it, but on the other uh, hand, you still have to you still have to use something that does more than fifty, and that is kind of a waste if you do only forty mm, damage. Not necessarily. Inside. If you use a flamethrower, or so that would be hard because you probably would damage yourself when the when the thing explodes. Uh, a bit too early here on the trigger. Yep. First one was. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> The first one was too late. This one was a bit too early, and I think that that uh, a little ledge here is gonna. This guy's gonna remember it for ages. But um... this tank is unoccupied, so you could, in theory, go into that. I was thinking about maybe a TNT on the tank that's occupied by that guy, by that scout, and then go into the other tank, and... Mm. I mean, this is a good move, but again, you're only doing 40 to the pig inside. Yeah, I, I don't like this move, to be honest. Like, uh, I think uh, the, the, the airburst from this uh, has so much potential, I wouldn't waste it on a... on a tank. Oh, exactly 50. That tank that took the damage from before, from Zarin's TNT, is on exactly 50. I mean, you can use a trap now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, if it was on, on slightly lower, you would be, you know, you would be using a TNT to just destroy it and take them to do 40 damage, uh, but... Uh... Let's see. Uh, a tank body blocked a paratrooper there. Hmm. I don't know. This, yeah, this is probably a bad move. It's probably a bad move because you should never damage a tag on on this map without destroying it. I mean, now that is, uh, I mean, it's on forty six, so I, I I will I have to say less damage than I thought it would take. Oh, you he could use the free trap packs to get. Um, I would use okay. the free trap packs to get the the sapper close. That is exactly what he's trying to do. But he has, to, he has to use two of them, and the third one to damage the tank, otherwise it wouldn't be enough. The tank is on 46, and oh, that very uh, unlucky with he, the wall here. He can possibly, if he uses the trap, he might get both of them? I don't know. No, that, there's no way. There's no way. It's too, oh. it's too, it was too far away. Oh, uh, the machine gun! 
Is Maybe? it enough to machine gun? No, it's, don't think it's enough. But, uh, I mean, that tank is not very close to taking his turn, so I think uh. he still has a chance to uh, use that. But that was still hefty damage in the in the long run. The sapper is now on three health. Wait, one shot on the machine gun, does it three or four damage to four. Uh, four. And how so, many bullets does the machine gun have? Eight. I think, I think 11. So it would be 11. 44. It would be 44, but the tank was on 46. All right. And even and that is if every single shot connected, which at that point you probably are close enough to hit yourself as well. That, that is true. That's true. Oh, a gunner is perfect for dealing with this tank. Yeah, I said before, a flamethrower. No, a, a mortar. You can risk a mortar. A mortar. Yeah, yeah. Because even if you mm. don't hit it perfectly, the the small shells will do it. Small shells will finish the job. Sure. I think I think that's the one. I think that's good. Uh, but yeah. Forty-four it's... and boom. Oh yeah. I didn't even think about the mortar. Um. Now, Ooh, technically, yeah, since you... all tanks are either occupied or destroyed, you can't use the tank trick to get inside and collect uh, high explosive grenades. But uh, it will get down to. Whoever has the first occupied tank taking a turn. If if they even know the trick. Yeah. What would he do with Scott? Would he would he have um used poison on the uh, on I don't the know. medic? Okay, question for you. If I knife the sapper, it does it does it go far close enough to the tank to destroy it? No way. Okay. Yeah, there's no way that uh, right. He's trying to do it with the with the grenade launcher though, but he just oh. went for the damage instead. The sapper is down. Uh Warco's medic is now in power and still he still controls the MoMA though. So that's a big thing in uh, an open match like this. I go for the heal. On Percy. Oh. And then go back to the MOBA. Questioning whether to stay close or not, maybe? I think he does the, the best thing here. Yeah, because uh, it's still a 5v4 even, so... Not even the MOBA is safe, it's even oh. gonna skip on... Oh, yes. Is he doing what I think it is doing? Yeah, yeah, I think he is doing what he think it is doing. That is why you should never damage a tank without destroying it. Ooh, okay, but this but... is risky. Yeah, it is. It is. You have to go very far high. And I, I have to say, enough. Warco did do this with a barrel on a previous match. So... <laughs> I like this, this move here. Yeah, it makes sense. Although, oh, the crate is making him lose time. That's a bit dickish. Yeah, but not that much, to be honest. He should be able to take him out. And Smith is going to be a valuable asset for Varko, because he's still got two jetpacks and he's full health. Yeah. Maybe he can kill, kill Koshon here? He will. Destroying the wall as well. Now it's uh, back to 4v4. I have to say, if you manage to get inside the... The, the central part of the map, that is going to be a treasure. Yeah, that is for true. everyone who does. There's two health crates. possibly close enough for the minefield. Who? The. Smith, that yeah, guy? The no, I don't think so. No, no, not the middle one, but the small patch there. No, I don't think so. I mean, the TNT, of course. It, it, it seems too far away for me. Okay, never no, mind. look at it. <laughs> it's perfectly on that. And now all of a sudden, this guy is in danger, because uh, it could very much bounce into the other minefield. I don't think he'll even go a bit too far. Never mind. Yeah, that was very close there, because oh. with 61, if he touched another mine, it would have exploded. But uh, you can see a good double poison opportunity 
Well, you can't see it on the minimap, but there's a liquid double poison opportunity on the other side. On the uh, on the di diagonal side here. Oh yeah, because uh, that sapper just stuck there and now there's a scout as well. But he's going uh, for the damage on the medic, which is not a bad choice, to be honest. Uh, but it puts them, those two picks, uh, pretty far apart. Well, but not could... far enough to be separated. I think, uh, does, uh. does, does uh, Zarin even have a paratrooper? I don't think that he has. No, but he could, could have gone oh, into, the, into the middle now, which would have been pretty good for him. I know Warco does know the trick to get inside with a tank. I don't think Zarin does at this point. Maybe. Uh, and there are that's... also this... That's also yeah, but... a little bit of damage on the tank there. Yeah, and uh, again, a slow um, entry into the the tank. Just the small details that, um, yeah, could have could help a lot here in this game. I mean, yeah, the, I I I remember that when that was discovered, this game, this uh, map turned to turned into a chess match sometimes. You are right. There was a very that was a very good. Double opportunity Double for him. Yeah. I mean, one thing he could have done here, flame for him into the mine. He could have worked. But he's gonna just say, screw it, and do it with a mortar. Uh. I think that's too, way too... Way too short. <laughs> yeah, it is okay. way too short. That's gonna be a self-hit. 29, oh, 16, and oh, yeah, 15. Six. Now, Warco probably prob needs to work on his uh, close range mortar skills. Uh, I would uh, go for a double poison here on the other side, or uh, at least a single poison on the um, on the medic. Yeah, you gotta take out the medic. Although, I have to say, once the medic is out of tranks, not a big deal. For a scout, yes, maybe, because that basically still negates poison until he's dead, but... Ah, but he can't get a double poison wheel that way here. Any? Interestingly, I, think he can. I mean, he can, but he would put himself in a very bad position with 100. Interestingly, you you really can't level. see the the sap on the minimap anymore. Wait, what? Oh, it wasn't the scout. Hey, it is a scout. It is. A, oh, yes, yeah, a scout. That would have been very was, weird. Yeah, that, that's why I figured. I thought it was a sap for a moment. The funniest thing for me is that that scout can't be healed now because he can't reach up there. It's slippery. Oh, uh, yeah. So, ooh, he's body blocking the scout and then tranquilizing the mate. That's a very good move for the last rank. Yeah, that is that's two. That's two. Ooh, hits him where it hurts. And now a snipe is all Warco needs to take out that guy. Uh, to be honest, that, uh, uh, that's a pretty good position for sniping. <laughs> that this count is, yeah. uh, is now in. Um, that's probably boots. That for yeah, some reason in, in the entire oh, wow. in the entire map three you can't see boots. We, we used to think it was only on on P drag, but now it, it's in, on every map map on on file three. And he collects the two high exploding grenades, misses one crate, but I think he will. Get it afterwards, and that's uh, gonna be a very hefty paratrooper. Just as long as he does something. Oh, and he will stay inside here. And that is the thing I was talking about. Uh, you need to take it out now with a shrapnel. Yeah, you saw the health of the mesh tent. On the previous version, Peter Agate used to be 40. Which most pigs can take and would uh, give um, you know little effort to to, uh. to destroy it and would make the heal very hard. And while I agree, it would be making too hard. Oh, fifty. A hundred uh. is basically a guaranteed heal if you use it the r in the right moment. Yeah, exactly. Because. Uh, other than shrapnel, you can't really take uh, out something with 100. Yeah. Uh, you can use uh, a flamethrower. But, again, you have to be 
using a yeah, gunner in the right inside, turn though. and also yeah. get inside. Um, again, it's it's the same with Field Hospital, and they they the film Field Hospital, mesh tents have eighty HP, so it's even possibly worse here. Yeah. I think a field hospital, they're also more accessible, so easier to hit. And yeah, you can play around it uh, a bit more, I think, a field hospital, because it just is naturally in the in the map on, on the battlefield, but here it's just a bit, yeah. I mean, I do out like... Of the, out of the way. I do like both this and field hospital as maps, but uh, for me, I think the when mesh stands have too much health, it becomes a problem, because it becomes... Too easy to heal when you're like one versus three pigs. Yeah. In the meantime, it's... Warco is cleaning out. Yeah, it's not looking good for seven here at all. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And that that, that... Is a mistake. Also, that guy from inside will def definitely heal now because there's no way mm. Zarin can take out the mesh tent. And remember, that guy still has one jetpack and two high explosive grenades. I would have said it the body block. Mm, yeah, I guess so. You need another two turns probably to kill the medic. I mean, it would be next. Oh, so. he, he next. Okay. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to a turn out at all here. But yeah, it's 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 pretty pretty much over. Yeah. Honestly. Or B2 right now, and basically the only good thing that Zarin is trolling is that sapper inside a tank. But would be a good idea I'll to go for the tank. Yep, mm -hmm. trying to line up for the tank right now because in in the uh, in the chance that it that all three hits don't hit the scout, the third one will probably hit the tank. Never mind, that's the oh. game being very funny, because... <laughs> yeah. I didn't I see that uh, coming at all. I don't know why it happens so many times. It, it shouldn't be oh. possible. First hit, second miss, third hit. I don't know why it happens so many times. I don't know either, it's just really the game is weird sometimes. But if I uh, just despair that... Uh, I want to see how much this guy has by the tank, but I guess it is a good idea for Warka to just stay in until the tank yeah. has uh, low health and he can use it as a bomb. That's true. But uh, it should be right about time for the paratrooper to emerge as healed. Yep. Well, that and... really seals the deal. Yeah. Not very big of a heal, 49, but still. To be fair, now would be a very good way, a very good time to attack the tank, cause uh, with it being the the scout's turn, Darin can't use it as a bomb, and then you can finish it next turn. Marco went for a long range jetpack. We're assuming that it hit the pig, as we can't tell. Oh wow. Okay, 58, okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Somehow didn't even touch the medic. Now, like I was saying, because it's the scout's turn, Zarin cannot avoid the next pig from Warcor's team just destroying the tank with the pig inside. Uh, that, that's true. But if you target the medic, maybe you can... Um... You can provoke a skip turn with the explosion of the tank. That is That, that would be a very good idea. Uh, but for me, the question is... Oh yeah, yeah, whatever would have damaged the medic here. Yeah, a snipe on the medic would have put him on 25, and I think... Oh, wait, never mind, oh. never mind. Never mind, never mind. That was a good as well, yeah. Zarin's okay, poison that. game is on point. It's on point, I have to say. Oh, he, no, he has to get out. Yeah, he has to get out. Uh, and... Get, yeah, get... Mm, okay. I think this could be this could be working. 
Because you need to damage him enough so it gets some skip range, but not enough that he kill he, uh, he gets killed. Maybe you know what could work. It's a grenade uh, launcher. <laughs> no, uh, shotgun. Uh, wow. Okay, that is a good. That is an idea. If you uh, just aim it so you get fifteen or eighteen on the on the orderly, because this should be too. Many. Oh, gee, oh my god. <laughs> so, you know what the funny part is? He got a 50 on the shrapnel and the extra on uh, on the on the tank yeah. because the camera being stuck on the medic means that at least one of the shrapnels hit him. <laughs> so he took like 90 damage there when uh, Zarya yeah. needed something between 55 and 64. Yeah, for me the shotgun would have been the play there, but that would have also been a hard task to do. I think I would have gone either for a TNT with a not too far tank, or a tank very close but not too close TNT. You know, trying to trying to balance it yeah. out so it gives, gets a a number I want. But regardless, we have let's ca actually count the health because this is now looking less. Done than it was before. Warco is still not great with his mortar. 23 on the sapper. The other hand, uh, the paratrooper um, should be in 130. Yeah, double poison 130. here. Does he have a poison remaining? Poison gas. I think so. Because that's for me the only chance he really has. Yeah, he does. Oh, but he's mm. going for the damage. I would rather try to get him into the monster with a grenade launcher. If you try, if you're going nah. for damage. I don't know. Yeah, but it's... The, sc the scout is next, just... Mm. The scout is next, just uh, either po damage him or poison both. So then, you next turn, you can yeah. use the, the minefield with your sapper. Which is a much better pick equipped for that. Yeah, that's true. But okay, never mind. Is also next. I, I thought I thought the smith wasn't going to be next, so yeah, the double poison would have definitely been the right move. And uh. an unfortunate number for Warco here, because sixty-eight uh, does still require two hits. Um, so uh, he has a trash right now. Yeah, he has to try a shrapnel. He has to try. He has to get a ninety on the on the paratrooper to even have a chance to come out victorious of this. Actually, if he kills the paratrooper, I think it's go. It's a victory for Zarin because um, Zarin would have two pigs, one on sixty one and one on eight, and uh, Warco has on another sixty something pig. Oh, ah, oh, that that's going to be. Mm, almost impossible for me to, to reach it. And also, he's going the wrong way! That's a oh, self-kill! Yeah, he will kill himself. And, yeah. yeah, that was just one uh, tile too short. And that basically seals it, because now two hits is all Warco needs to kill the scout. He's on 61, yeah. I think. Now, if we would have any chance to get into uh, the healing area... Yeah, like, like this is why I don't like mm. uh, the yeah. mesh tents being too, too healthy. Because now, if the if the wall was broken, and it very much has happened that the wall has been broken for, before on P-Drag, uh, Warco... Uh, no, not Warco. Zarin could go back to 140 health. Without, with Warco, and Warco wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a funny kill there. Yeah, but... Warco can easily finish him with... Um, a pistol. A pistol. And he does. Maybe even a uh, no-scope. Oh. No no scope going on the, the butt. No-scope they, they, these days. He scoped for the butt, and that means we have 1-1 one, one as the result, and... The last map will decide who is first in Group D. We'll see you there.
Okay, we're back. Turn 1-1. One, one. Oh, god damn it. Uh, we didn't see Warco's lineup. Well, whatever. Let's go for it. Anyway. Uh, he, he shouldn't should bring the capital, sorry, no? He hasn't uh, used uh, yes, Grenadier. Yes, he hasn't yet. used his Grenadier yet. Uh, Warco is this still using one of the medics. The map, the last map is, I guess we'll be faster to just wait for the loading, but I'm going to check anyway. Daybreak, which is nightfall with uh, bridges and pillboxes. An interesting maps, an interesting map. I would say nightfall is still way better. That, that, this is one of those maps where I can agree with you uh, when we were talking about Gra uh, Grassy Outpost. This is definitely yeah. a map that is not worth taking, t uh, keeping for me. <laughs> You think you, you better keep Nightfall than this? Absolutely. Nightfall is much uh, more entertaining to, to play and watch. Because this has the same mind pattern than Nightwatch. It just is uh. easier to traverse, which is boring. Um, because of the bridges. And it has those kind of obnoxious crates, as opposed to Nightfall's crates, which are great. And the pillbox I mean don't, don't add too much, in my opinion. I mean, you could just um, combine those two, I guess, uh, mm. the good aspects of both of them into one map. I don't know, it would be just putting pillboxes on Nightfall, which I would rather not. Okay. I disagree and... with you there, but I respect your opinion. Meanwhile, we I completely missed who went first and who tranquilized who. I think it was Warco, considering that we're having we're having the green parachute yep, yep. now. <laughs> Got very very uh, distracted there. He's going for the grenadier. Okay, thank you for confirming that that little moving mess of pixels is the grenadier there. You're very welcome. Can't you see? Him? No. <laughs> now I can see him. <laughs> I, I just love the sprites, uh, the, the the distance yeah. sprites, you know? Uh, it, the, the, the the moment, the, the, that one day that we had uh, that cheat that allows you to see them close, it, it was so funny. It does break, I mean, still have... it breaks the game completely, but it is funny. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, we hmm. still have to cheat, by the way. So I know, I know. I'm just saying. Uh, I, I was gonna say I wanna rewind that a little bit because to see if that I, I think I saw a lag spike that uh, made us uh, made Zarin do that mistake, but maybe it was just uh, unaware of where the mine are, where the mines are on that side, and that but is that a big. I'm on the back foot, yeah. Yeah, that's a big mistake for Zarin, uh, missing the Grenadier turn and also putting him in a very dangerous position. Now, Warco can just hit him again, and he's gonna be in skip range. Yeah. And with uh, Warco also controlling the MoMA, not much can be and done about that. That's our not much can be done about that right here. Mm. Uh, I think Zarin potentially can still use a poison on one pig maybe wait a minute no that's uh, the, the guy's inside the pillbox yeah i think uh, i think mm. that's what i don't like about um these kind of maps it's just when you have a when you can when you go first you can easily take control of most valuable things that are on the map let it be uh, okay be it pillboxes crates crates especially have suffered from this problem but yeah, I can see that the, the argument uh, made the. Yeah, uh, that's that's what Square of puts apart from the others, the sense you can't really traverse that easily, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, on thirty seconds, that also applies to multiple other maps. Nightfall, for example. I, I, another problem is obviously the forty-five seconds, and that is a good thing, quote unquote, because again, these two are already qualified; they're playing for first place, but. 
from the quarterfinals in the playoffs, they'll be switching to 30 seconds. So these kind of ex exploits, I don't want to say will be not available, but less available. Also, I still think we should discuss if a switch into 30 seconds for the playoff in Grant is a good idea, or keep the whole Grant League in 45 since we're in the league now and switch think, to 30 there. I think, considering what we saw in this Grant, which is a very high level, I think some... Uh, it's like, it, it feels like some of the group stage matches should have already been oh, on 30, oh no. to be That was close. Yeah, I mean, that's another argument to make if... To, to switch all games to 40, second, uh, yeah. 40 seconds. Yeah, that was just to say, in if you were talking about uh, keeping the entire grunt in 45, then definitely no is the answer for me. I think this is still a better a better compromise, because, you know, you, you're going to have people that start oh. on... That, that have their very first tournament. Oh, and, no. uh, and found themselves to be pretty good, but they were helped by the mm. fact that they started on 45 seconds. L l first name that comes to mind is Borealis from Group B. And also these, and also Warko and Zarin were helped a lot by the fact that they're playing on, on 45 seconds. And now they, uh, we know that they are very decent players. Well, but it's not looking good for Zarko at all here, in my opinion. Did you just say Zarko? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I said Zarko. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck did you pull that from? <laughs> but Zarko is uh, controlling three pillboxes and the MoMA, so... Yeah, that's also another weird thing. It's weird to have a map that has, has three pillbox. Not two, not four, three. It has four. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was just not counting one. I am still getting used to the map, to the new maps, as much as the grunts are. Uh, and I have to say, some maps have uh, changed my opinion of them. Um, I, do, I do think some are just not worth keep, keeping in the pool. So I would just uh, definitely argue for removing them. But you know, you, you, you can't know until you try, so... The, parrot, the, the grunts are secretly our guinea, guinea pigs for this. <laughs> no? What, what, what did you... I didn't say anything. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. That's a nice uh, mortar. That's a very nice mortar, yeah. And sorry if we got a little bit sidetracked here with the commentary, but... Uh... <laughs> So far, there's not much to say other than uh, Zark. Uh, I, I did. I said Zarko again now. Um, Zarin is definitely on the back foot. A couple mistakes, plus plus uh, Warko perfectly exploiting the fact that he went first, and uh, it already it's already starting to look like there's not much to do. Yeah, oh. see, like oh. this is how. Okay, never mind. Imagine he was not on not on 140, but <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Imagine he was not on 140. You see how easy it was to just uh, go and come back to the medic. Like, this is not a good option when... Uh, I'm surprised, too. Yeah. When Nightfall is a better it's a better map, just... Mm. Like, it, it, the I'm fact that it makes it... Uh, take a oh. block. The pillbox was on go. one. That was very yeah. lucky. Oh, Zarin is already down to four pigs. Just trying to count. And... Oh! Is it possible that uh, Warko realized that there was going to be a Mova reverse? Yeah, because the Grenadier's dead. And Warko still has five pigs. Yeah, but the Grenadier was dead after taking a turn. Yes, but there will be... Uh, Momo Reverse oh, now. Oh, yes. that, that's yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. did that. Okay, yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly, that's... that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's actually a very high-level play. Because... Uh, 
Laying around Moma Reverse is definitely not you're seeing you normally see in Grunt League. He didn't fully commit to hitting the medic. That's a pro that's a mistake for me. But uh, still, like he came from the other corner of the map just to deal a jetpack on that medic. It is clear to me yeah. that he was he knew what what was happening there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. So does Ooh, Zarin. Just got it. So does Zarin because he went for that. I feel like he should have gone for another. Okay. Oh well. Um, okay. That's a that's a very beefy scout in there now. Yeah. For example, pillboxes are very good for scouts because, except for poison, they usually do forty anyway. And I just keep the protection. Which is another. Which yeah, is only... a... Seven another shot. Probably. It's... Go ahead. I was about to say, Siren should take the, the last mini pillbox, in my opinion, here. I think first, destroying the medic is the, the biggest op uh, option here. Also, this oh. this map, uh, contrary to Nightfall, has no slippery tiles, because I guess Pin wasn't able to make them work. Which is a, a, sh a shame, uh, but in my opinion, it's a, just another way. This map yeah. is just not okay. No, it's not fun. From my yeah, I, I see you don't like this map. Uh, I got it now. Oh, and he should. Yeah, Cattleport is fine. Cattleport is fine unless he falls on a mine. All in the water, but uh, okay. orderly world skip. Not now. What is this guy in? Hide this pillbox? I have no idea. Yes, will. Marco doesn't know either, because. I think he just wants to kill the medic before anything happens. Which is a good move, to be honest, though. Yeah, but he's thinking a bit too much about it. If he was a paratrooper inside, he could have probably also gone there to take the... Or his own orderly out? Why is he thinking about it? I don't know why... why... Um, th I think he's thinking how to avoid the skip turn inside. I mean, it is possible, yeah. Because my instinct would have been, okay, check who I, what rank is inside. But I guess he knows already, so... Uh, yeah, so this match might actually not be over. Mm, yeah, but it will still be very hard for Saren to turn it around. Well, let's think about it. Ooh. Whoa, no, again! Oh, no. Very unlucky. He was also a couple pixels away from avoiding the explosion, by the way. Because he took a 5. Um, Darren was just unlucky with that. Um, oh yeah, Warco still has 5 pigs. I mean, one is about to die, yeah, but... That's a very good bazooka with a, a very lucky spin. Yeah. So now he should really get into the pillbox. Which one is the one that's uh, unoccupied? Behind is on a... medic. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but this is also fine. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, I think Pin usually puts these weapons in, in pairs, so there's probably another air burst there. Okay. Be careful not to accidentally pick the hide. Yeah. And that's gonna be a double hit on the pillbox and on the paratrooper. Which is a very good hit. That was a nice... Oh, when you co you can collect the stuff that the medic had now. You don't even need to risk about... Um... What's the name? Uh, mines. This paratrooper can't see them. Definitely go collect them. Sniper rifle and rocket launcher, which is I th I think oh, a but bit this looks on his left. pretty good for a paratrooper. 
Yep, now this parachuper is kind of dangerous. Yeah. Let's see. That's gonna be a 40 100 percent And an eight on oh, the Oh, and an eight on the pillbox. Um Parachuper is now very low. Ooh, he's gonna he can, he can deal up to 90 on this guy with this get with this two jetpacks and a rocket launcher uh, even it. more if the minefield helps seems to like using jetpacks this way I guess it is just a a happy uh force of habit. Yep, definitely should go for a rocket launcher, which is... This is one of those rare instances where a rocket launcher shot is actually easier than the bazooka. Uh, and another lucky spin! Oh, and another lucky spin. I have to say, Warco's still in front, but considering Zari ha Zarin has skipped, I think, three turns due to mines, he's holding out very well. Yeah. That is as well, too. And he... Can play the poison game now, and he should. Yeah, he definitely should. There's no healing left on the field, and no medics left. Uh, our trooper is still on 27. That's a very dangerous number. But the health is still much on Warco's side, because Gunner on 140 in the middle. Uh, Scout. Oh, is he oh okay. <laughs> what? I think he wants to... I mean, that was a good move here, to be honest. Uh, a hmm. better move uh, was also to just jump on the power tube's head two times and then use the uh, the poison gas. I think if you had to bait some someone out, it would have to be this guy. Because I want him out as soon as possible. With That's not going to work. It will only do eight on the, on the box. No. So. But actually, it was a very good move because um... two eight even on the yeah. Pillbox. I think the, I think the one that was supposed to hit the box hit the pillbox instead. Uh, do you think you can open the pillbox with that? Or uh, I would stay in here to be honest, definitely, and shoot at the gunner. So if you can hit it, mm, yeah. If you have another, uh, if you have another bullet with it, you should shoot the gunner. Uh, I was gonna say that's that the the hide was a very good move from Warco because. His only two pigs are now one inside the pillbox and yeah. one is hidden. That meant that uh, the guy inside the pillbox for Warco couldn't hit anybody. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so... I am honestly impressed at how uh, Zarin has evolved tactically compared to last year. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a tough choice. Uh, I think yes, this is a correct move, probably. You get you get him out at least, so you can deal with him and you uh. can stop this constant. That that's that's one way to make it harder for you though. That position is complicated. This guy's also on 150. Oh, no damage here. That's good for yeah. uh, for seven. Lucky here. Yeah. Uh. Two head chumps and uh, uh, poison gas on the on the paratrooper would be the play to make him uh, skip a turn, I think. Yeah. Because he should be next if I'm remembered it right. And he's on 27. Either that or hit somebody else with the last bullet and then do it next turn. But no, not in. Didn't think about the double head jump and poison. That is a missed opportunity here. There's two. Um, he could bar. have used every single um, damage he can get here. Yeah, he needs it's... every single turn he can possibly get. Because hmm. uh, Warco has an insane amount of health still for this point of the game. Yeah, right, too. And he's now down to 2v3, but uh, all of uh, Warco's pigs are very healthy. 
a hundred, uh, 150, and I think the scout inside the pillbox is still on 140 as well. Wow. Oh. Maybe nice some 40. minor water damage. Got a water, got a lot of water. Oh my god, another another lucky spin. So Seven also is unlucky with the spins here as well in this game. Yep. And he has to body block really. Yeah, he has to keep body blocking and just hope for the best, I think. Maybe also get a lucky slip down. No, he get him, get him up, which is not the worst thing either. And he also positioned himself well um, for the pillbox. Yeah. Gotta get out. Oh, yeah, but he's in full health. And he also Maybe... has an air burst. I was about to say, stay on top here, on top of the shelter, and try a snipe. I will, I will try to snipe the um, power to be even. Just either would be nice. What? Oh, okay. That that guy's still inside there. I forgot about him. Oh. Okay. You have to try the double poison here. On a gun and uh, sca um, try to provide. Thinks... Yeah, I think that would be it. On a gun. Uh, no. Zarin is still taking time. He's like... Uh, taking time to think about a way to turn the sword. Uh, didn't want to get inside that. Oh, he wanted a crate. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> going into the pillbox would still be worth it, to be honest. Yeah. Even if this is a 1 HP. Um, you right. can only uh, maximum take 20 when he's, it is destroyed. So, for me, that's not a bad turn here to go inside there. Yeah, you need to use every single bullet from the pillboxes to win. And I feel like this still would be enough. Wouldn't be enough. No, uh, I realistically don't see a way uh, how Seren can win this. Oh, I forgot that that one that that one HP. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. Right. But I mean, at this point, it wouldn't make a difference if the pillbox has one or fifty HP. Yeah. Because you still take twenty when you get out. Yeah. Most of the time, yes. That is actually a, a problem for a sapper because a lot of his weapons... Uh, oh, you have three TNTs, you wouldn't even have trouble choosing here. Yeah, I'll just use the grenade launcher, exactly. Because, as far as we know, the reason why sometimes you don't take a 20 for exploding, for the, 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 at the building exploding, because multiple bullets hit the bolt building at the same time, mm. and that makes the game freak out and not give you the 20. And uh, the Sapper what would you has do here? shrapnels, both shrapnels and, and, and shotgun that have that problem. I just wanted to finish that sentence. Uh, I don't know, I would still keep body blocking. But not uh, the gunner since he's next. Uh, definitely. Maybe yeah. the scout. I did like the scout and the sniper off from here, yeah, but he's not thinking about that. And yeah, I would just, go for the out. Yeah, you would just go there and snipe the scout while also body blocking it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> well. Didn't work out. I mean, that was definitely a turn. Yeah, that was one of the turns of all time. Uh. As the kids say. Uh, now all. Marco needs to do is get this kill. I feel like it would be over. Definitely, yeah. Also, Seven doesn't have any poison uh, applied to the other pigs, so you can't even play around with skipping turns. Yeah. And the scout is next. And since the scout is next, I would hide myself on the shelter. Because body, block body blocking is useless against the scout. So the only thing you really can do is hide. I mean, I think yeah, that's, oh. that's, that's too, too late for even that. 
Yeah, I'm sure it's too late, but if we want to drag it out further and see how you can, could win. Yeah. Adding would have been the play. Or just get inside the... Get inside the shelter, that's even less damage that, that uh, the scout can do. Oh yeah! Uh, I thought, thought, thought hiding in the shelter. That's what I. Oh, okay. What, what I was trying to say here. And yeah, well, it's, it's over. That makes it 2 1 for Warco, and that means he will win Group D and fight one of the others in second place from the other groups. Meanwhile, Zarin will have to face one of the other group winners. Well, uh, I'll be playing uh, C against D. No, we're uh, doing we're draw. doing a, a a draw to make it random. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fair enough. On that note, uh, this is the first group that is hmm. finished now, and um, just wanted to inform you that uh, watching this, that, that the uploads will be a little, you know, uh, weird with uh, last week because in every group we want to wait. For both matches to be played to reveal the result of uh, any match, you know, because, for right. example, in, in in if two matches of the same group uh, are played, you, you, you one inf one uh, result could influence the other. So basically, Group A matches will be posted when both are played. So go same goes for B and C. D doesn't have this problem, so this is one you're probably the first one you'll see in in week five. Well, but regardless, um, but anyways, if I'm the winner of one of the groups, I don't want to face uh, Saren either. I guess that is true, but I think that can be said for basically everyone who qualifies uh, from yeah. uh, the group. Because, again, the le the level from the Scrunt League has been very high. And, uh, oh, oh, okay. uh, stop the video, stop the video. Shut up. Okay, uh, you can see my screen for a moment. Uh, where is my screen? Go. Okay, we're gonna keep talking to this. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. No, it yeah. has been very high indeed, and I'm very much looking forward to the playoffs. And I think yeah. whoever gets into the middle league, um, will oh, also yeah. put up we, a great we will, performance there. We will inform you about that uh, when the playoffs start. I will be able to tell how many spots for qualification to middle league there will be. Um, at, at least two, it seems like, oh. That is definitely the idea. I I'm trying to push for three, but mm. uh, I, I I have to see. Depends on uh, the the players already in middle league and whether they say yes or no. Just basically, I I will be closing it before the playoff starts, and we'll be able to tell how oh. many spots there are. But uh, yeah, that's about it, and we'll see you guys in the next match. GG to Wazarin, GG to Warko. I was about to say Zarko again. <laughs> I'm saying Chi Chi to Sako, so I don't have to just have to say a single name. I guess that's fair enough. See you guys next time.